Hey guys, it's happening right now in Abia State. Live updates on Biafra Heroes Day. Tensions in Aba as gunmen engage soldiers in gun battle. Two feared killed, patrol van burnt. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. There is palpable tension in Aba, Abia State, as gunmen enforcing the state at home order of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, reportedly engaged soldiers at Obi, Obi, Kabia, Obi Kaba Junction in a shootout. A resident told Hara reporters that two soldiers were killed by the enforcers of the seat at home order, but the military and the police have not confirmed this. The Hulongs also burnt a military patrol vehicle and some shops in the area. Although Sahara reporters could not immediately ascertain whether anyone died in the shootout, the videos of the incident seen by Sahara reporters on Thursday morning show a lone soldier armed with a rifle running to hide in a shop as their patrol van burns. A voice in one of the videos says, this army man is the only surviving person here. He was the only person that ran away. He has the only, he was the only person that ran away, Jesus. In another video of the incident, no fewer than nine gunmen are seen shouting and pursuing soldiers at a junction. The gunmen dressed in war gear drove in a convoy of SUVs. I am hearing gunshots within Ubiaka, Ubakaba, Azix of water sites, and someone just called me now to affirm it. And eyewitnesses told Sahara reporters. When the Abia State Police Public Relations Officer ASB uh Chineke was contacted she she confirmed the attack but referred our reporter to the military for more information i am working on the incident and whatever i get i will rely i will relay it to you on the military incident you can speak with the military spokesperson in orafia she said when contacted, the Army spokesperson in 14th Brigade Command in Orafia, Abia State, Lieutenant Prince Innocent, confirmed the attack but did not provide details. He said, we got the information and we are preparing to go there as we speak. I cannot tell you whether anyone was killed or not until we get there and ascertain what happened and how it happened but our men are moving there right now like as i said uh this is live update on the biafra seat at tone order in uh, in, in abia states okay in southeast meanwhile um the anambra state police command has urged people or groups disseminating threatening voice notes and gory videos to enforce illegal sit at home in Anambra State to desist from the act. Okay. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has allegedly released a new trending voice over recording warning people to observe sit at home today, Thursday. Noting that anyone who dares to disobey will face the consequences. IPOP on Thursday restated that the May 30 seat at home uh, exercise across Southeast Nigeria will be held as planned. In a statement signed by the spokesman, Imapa Afo, IPOP warned all residents in the region to stay at home in commemoration of Biafra Heroes Day. He explained that the remembrance of all those who fought for Biafra's freedom and sovereignty was imperative, stating that no government or security agency
had any authority to harass any, any innocent person during the incident. The IPOP spokesman ascertained that all social activities in Biafra have been bound, adding that markets, schools, banks, government and private businesses are not allowed to open. He said the entire southeast region would be on lockdown from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on May 30. The group stated that all Biafran heroes and heroines must be remembered, including Bruce Mayrock from the USA, who sacrificed in his useful age for Biafrans. However, S.P. Tochuku Ikenga, the police public relations officer and Anambra State Command, urged the public to disregard the warning and go about their lawful businesses without fear. He assured the resident that the police alone with other security agencies had mobilized law enforcement resources to ensure the safety and security of every citizen in the state. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.